Hey guys, this is Nasim here, and welcome to Legion Guides, where I go over the major mechanics and break down the normal patterns. So you cleared the three wolves and now you're ready to finally meet Valtan. But before we do, let's go over the recommended battle items. Everyone should bring HP potions and time stop potions. Then, one person should bring corrosive bombs, while everyone else needs to bring destruction bombs. I'll go over the uses very soon. For the final slot, Supports can bring dark grenades and DPS can bring flame grenades for the imprisonment pattern which I'll go over later in this video. I'll be going over the major mechanics first, but Valtan's normal patterns can cause freefall deaths, so I recommend learning the normal patterns as well. When you first enter the dungeon, you'll notice that Valtan is wearing armor that reduces incoming damage. Your goal during this first phase is to destroy his armor twice before moving on to the next stage. During phase 1, you'll have up to 4 chances to break his armor. Valtan will choose his aggro and get ready to charge at that player. That player will have to guide Valtan towards a pillar. Once Valtan collides with a pillar, he will become groggy and this is when you can break his armor. Now let's go into the details of how to do this. There are 4 pillars that you want to prioritize on breaking because of Naun's energy. I'll go over the uses of Naun's energy later, but basically these pillars are located here. Since you don't know who Valtan will charge to, the safest choice is to have everyone wait in front of these pillars. Now when Valtan smashes the ground twice, the player with the corrosive bomb can throw the bomb. This will increase all incoming weak point damage for 20 seconds. After Valtan is groggy, everyone else should throw their destruction bombs and spam all their weak point skills. Let's look at an actual raid for example. You can see everyone running to the pillar at 3 o'clock. Before Valtan hits the pillar, you can see that he gained the corrosive debuff which will increase incoming weak point damage. Everyone is throwing destruction bombs and spamming weak point skills to break Valtan's armor which we did in the first charge. Valtan may or may not use a normal pattern before his second charge. The important thing is to guide him towards one of the pillars that has Noun's energy. You won't be able to break his second armor but you can still stack weak point damage here so spam them again. After the second charge, Valtan will always use his double axe swing pattern which I'll go over where the safe zone is when I go over the normal patterns later. Valtan will fly up and start dropping 9 axes. The ideal way of dodging this is to dodge these in a triangular shape but your raid members will never let you do that. After dodging all 9 axes, you'll need to head to the edge of the map to dodge Valtan's drop damage. If you can't reach the edge on time, I recommend using a time stop potion. Right after the drop, head to another pillar, throw a corrosive bomb before Valtan charges, then spam destruction bombs and weak point skills when Valtan is groggy again. If you succeed in breaking Valtan's armor twice, keep attacking him until he has white pattern. If you failed after the third charge, Valtan will charge again after 4 to 5 normal patterns, so wait for his fourth charge and break his armor then. If this also fails, I recommend restarting the raid. At 130 bars, Valtan will use his white mechanic, and there are two ways of getting through this. The first method is using Naun's energy. These four pillars drop two Naun's energy each when they are destroyed. Naun's energy protects you from an attack that would instantly kill you. So if everyone took one Naun's energy each, they'll be able to survive Valtan's white mechanic. However, you will still need to make sure you are dodging this pizza first, because your Naun's energy will wear off and you'll have no Naun's energy to save you from the second wipe. The second method is to use the side reel skill Baltor. At 130 bars, use Baltor at the middle of the map so that it's easy for everyone to step on it. Everyone needs to be inside this large circle before Baltor presses this button. If you received Baltor's blessing properly, your screen will look like this. If you have Baltor's blessing, you'll survive the white mechanic, and it's that easy. For the second method, I recommend saving Naun's energy for players that couldn't receive Baltor's blessing. After this wipe, phase 2 will start with Valtan destroying all the walls. At 110 bars, there will be a pizza pattern, then Valtan will fly up again. There will be 4 pillars to hide behind to avoid Valtan's drop damage. However, there will be a red area that follows one player. This red area will kill everyone in it, so try to guide this red area to a pillar that no one is hiding behind. Once the red area locks, jump out of the red area. If you can hide behind the pillar, great. If not, use a time stop potion in the yellow area. Using a time stop potion in the red area will not save you. After Valtan drops, he will be looking at a player again. Just like before, aim the red area away from your team, 
and jump out when the red area locks. However, this time, the pillars that are in the red area will blow up. Then, the pillars that weren't in the red area will blow up afterwards. At 85 bars, the first stage break will happen. Faltown will fly up, then indicate the side he will drop on. Faltown will drop, then spin while coming to the middle. This spin will become more crucial during the second stage break. Run to the opposite side to stay safe. After Valtan is done spinning, there will be pillars to hide behind. Another red cone will follow the aggro, which will blow up the pillars like before. Now after the first stage break, you can free fall to death on this side, so try to stay on the opposite side if you can. At 65 bars, Valtan will fly up again. Before Valtan drops, gather around. After Valtan stops the ground once, there will be a puddle under everyone that explodes after a second. This is why you want to gather up and summon the puddles in one area. This way, it will be much easier to dodge out of the puddles and avoid the explosion damage. There will be a cutscene after this, and after the cutscene, you will have to counter Valtan's grab. The first charge will not glow in blue, and you'll have to learn the timing. Since the timing is hard, I recommend everyone gathering up in front of Valtan and trying to counter this all together. For the counter timing, I have two ways that I do this. The first method is to watch Valtan shaking, and when he stops shaking, use your counter skill. The second method is to count to 3 right after the guide message pops out. At 35 bars, the second stage break will happen. Whichever side was remaining, Valtan will drop on that side and break it. Just like before, Valtan will spin towards the middle. Run to the very edge of the map because this spin will tip you over the edge. You cannot free fall by clicking outside the map, so click here and make sure your character is right at the edge. Again, wait for the pillars and watch out for the explosions. When Valtan is under 20 bars, he will open up a portal. Then, drop in smash his axe. After Valtan smashes 4 times, he will put his axe down and start punching the ground. After he pounds the ground 5 times, he will smash the ground once, summon pillars in 3 directions, and explode them. There are two different ways of surviving this. First, run to the area where Valtan first smashed his axe because he will not be smashing the same area twice. Now, if your side reel gauge is full, you can use Baltor right after the first smash. Run around the edges to avoid as much damage. Then, get ready to go in front of Valtan after he smashes the ground with both his hands. Finally, run to the area with no pillars and wait for Valtan's ghost to appear. If your side reel gauge is not full, you can use a time stop potion to survive this safely. After Valtan's second pound, use a time stop potion in front of him. When the time stop potion ends, hide behind a pillar. Finally, go to the area with no pillars to avoid the pillar's explosion. You finally made it to the ghost phase, which can be the most nerve-wracking stage for new players. Now in the ghost phase, Valtan will have a damage reduction buff. In normal mode, he will have 4 stacks, and in hard mode, he will have 6 stacks. To get rid of this, you need to counter the ghosts that are summoned on the outer perimeter. After you counter them, you get an energy of purification, which you can use to reduce a stack of the damage reduction buff. Just make sure you get close and rub yourself against Valtan to do this. Countering the ghosts also increases your side reel gauge, so try to counter as many ghosts as you can. Let's finally look into the normal patterns, which can save you a lot of potions and from free fall deaths. I will divide the normal patterns by their face as well. The single axe swing. Valtel will swing his axe once, and after a second, he will slam it in front of him while forming these rocks in a cross shape. 
If you see Valtan swing his axe once and pauses, don't be behind him and get to his sides. Valtan swings his axe twice, then slams it in front of him. If you see Valtan swing his axe twice, stay behind him until he slams his axe. Then, move to Valtan's side after the slam. Valtan jumps and smashes his axe, and there will be rocks coming out from the ground in a cross shape. Get out of this line, which is where his back is facing. After the jump, there is a high possibility of Valtan spinning, so don't charge into him right after the jump. Make sure you wait for the spin first. During the first phase, we need to use Valtan's charge to break his armor, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Valtan can still use charges after we break all his armor. If you see Valtan getting ready to charge, get out of this line after Valtan pounds the ground three times. Note that this charge will become counterable in later phases, but in phase 1, you won't be able to counter this. Valtan will use his phase 1 patterns, but will have some additional skill sets as well. Just like phase 1, Valtan will pound the ground three times before charging. The difference here is that this is now counterable. Valtan lifts his axe for a long time. After a few seconds, he will turn blue and smash his axe. You can counter him when he's blue, but after you counter him, you will be silenced, and everyone near you will be silenced as well. He will do this 3 times, and the smash damage will increase with every smash. Since everyone around you will be silenced, make sure that only one person is getting ready for the first two counters. This is to prevent people being silenced for the last counter. For the last counter, everyone else that is not silenced should prepare for the counter because this last smash is a near wipe smash. Similarly, Valtan will lift his axe again for a long time. However, instead of the counter pattern, he will smash his axe to damage you. Depending on if the axe is lighting up or not, the safe zones will be right in front of him or away from him. If the axe is not glowing, you need to be inside, and if the axe is glowing, you need to be outside. I like to memorize this like this. The axe is glowing, which means it's bright, and when it's bright, you should go outside and play. If the axe is not glowing, it's too dark out, so you should stay inside to be safe. Also, for this pattern, when Valtan lifts his axe, everyone will be silenced. Since the silence counter and the in or out pattern have similar telegrams, the way of distinguishing them is that the in or out pattern will silence everyone when he lifts his axe. When you hear this sound, and Valtan brings his axe in, you should stop attacking him. Dealing some damage is fine, but if you apply too much stagger, you will trigger Valtan's counter attack. This will make everyone fly off the map, so make sure you are not using high stagger skills. Also, if you're in the wrong position, you are still in danger of free falling. You should stay far away from Valtan or right under his axe handle. Valtan will smash the ground with both hands. There will be a shockwave afterwards, so get ready to come back in after the smash. When you see Valtan put his axe down, get ready to get out of the circle, then come back inside to dodge the shockwave. Valtan smashes his axe three times in this order. Front, back, front. When you see Valtan swing his axe behind him, get ready to stay on his sides to avoid this pattern. Valtan will slam his axe 4 times following the aggro. Valtan will follow the aggro for the first 3 slams, but the 4th slam will be in the same spot as the 3rd slam. If you have the aggro, just walk away from Valtan so that you can keep Valtan's axe in one position for your raid members. Valtan will summon a black hole that sucks you in if you are near it. This is a stagger check, but there is a shield that blocks stagger damage. You need to save your stagger skills and break the shield first, then use your stagger skills. Try not to be near the black hole either, because it'll bother you from staggering. If Valtan soars but his health is not at a major mechanic, he will drop 3 axes, then drop back down. Dodge these 3 axes first, then after Valtan drops, get near him to dodge the shockwave. Valtan will be flying through multiple portals that can knock you off the edge. The directions are indicated with these faint lines, so try not to be near them. To avoid free falling, try to be at the edge that still has the walls. If your class has shields, this is a great time to use them. Valtan will roar and imprison 3 players. He will then gather energy and release it. When he releases the energy, you will receive damage depending on how many players are still imprisoned. So make sure you use flame grenades and skills to release all your raid members. Valtan will summon 4 orbs. There will be these circular fields that guard these orbs. 4 players should split up to absorb these orbs. If you don't absorb these orbs in time, they will explode and apply a debuff on everyone. The debuff will increase damage received by 20% Per stack. Valtan will also be charging at random players to bother you, so make sure some people are waiting to counter the charges. 
Bao Tan will halt and reach his hand out. In a few seconds, he will charge forward and grab players in his way. He will then turn around and blow everyone he was grabbing off the edge. You can fly off too if you are in the yellow area, so make sure you get behind him or use a time stop potion. For phase 3, Fatal will be fixed in the middle of the map, but you need to be very careful not to get tipped over the edge. The only new pattern Fatal will use here is the 270 grab. Fatal will try to grab you around 39, 26, and 13 bars. An easy way of remembering this is to remember that this happens at multiple of 13. Fatal will never skip this grab, which means if your raid has a lot of damage and you push Fatal to 34 bars, Valtan will not skip his first grab and grab you when he's ready. So keep an eye on Valtan's HP bar, and if it's less than 39, 26, or 13, and he hasn't grabbed yet, he will be using his grab very soon. After the grab, make sure you get behind him to avoid him blowing you off. The grab telegram will show you a 270 degree cone. Promises warmth tomorrow, just like a dusky sunset in splendor. I remember the humming sound is passing by, the tears we have held back, all the dreams that I have lost in the past. I hope this video helped you master Valtan's second game, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Legion Guides. Alright, peace. <laughs>